Hello and welcome to this new episode of the Fuji OEM channel. Today we are going to take the 24mm uh, Suico 2.8 that wasn't compatible with the speed booster and made modifications to be able to use it. What you need is uh, a Phillips screwdriver. The number for the screwdriver is O-4. That's the size of the tip. And a pair of metal cutters. Um, okay, so let's take apart the the back part of the 24 millimeters. Just unscrew unscrew the three uh, screws on the bottom. They are black and very little, so put them somewhere safe so you don't lose them. Uh, remove those three, and once you remove them, uh, uh, a mechanism will be exposed. Uh, be careful not to to take it apart. It's very e easy to to put it back together, but to in order to avoid that trouble, just take take uh, care of that. So that's the the metal part, the the bottom cap. What you need to do is uh, just cut the the metal part that it protrudes from there and prevents the speed booster from being. Uh, from being compatible with the speed booster. What I did was to first make a mark on the metal to see how hard it was. Uh, it's very soft so you can uh, cut it without too much uh, force but just remember to be very firm so you don't um, bend anything else. Uh, it's very simple, you, you are going to see. Just cut it and make sure there's no uh, pieces of metal that uh, are left that could uh, scratch any other surfaces. Just remove any any pieces that might interfere or scratch other other parts. You might want also to to verify with your thumb very gently and. All, all it's left is to put uh, everything back together. Remember to put the metal part in the same position that it was before. It's very easy to to know that. Uh, and I'm going to speed up the process of uh, putting this back together, so I don't bore you with this this part. And once we finish unscrewing everything back together. What you need to make sure, or what I did in this part of the video, was to make sure that the 24mm was able to mount in the speed booster now without the metal part. And I was doing that very slowly just to make sure there's no interference and no scratches on the, on the internal glass. Uh, there's no problem, now the 24 it's compatible. I'm just checking that. Uh, the internal lens uh, didn't suffer any any interferences, any scratches, anything anything wrong. Everything was good. And what is left is just to mount the 24 millimeters on the speed booster and that into the XT1. I'm going to present you with a couple of pictures that I took just uh, after making this modification one is from my from my cat it's you can see that the 20 millimeters uh, field of view gives you plenty of, of room and then another image very simple just to make sure the just to to see the how sharp this this 24 millimeters is Okay guys, that's all for now, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and it's helpful for you in case you want to do these modifications by your own. Thank you and see you next time.